So uh, next, I'm gonna like talk about three typical use cases uh, for uh, Druid and Lyft. So the first is the like the inter uh, use Druid for the interactive web application. So uh, as a rideshare company, uh, we have a, a like a lot of the like customer service agents which have the need to like grab a bunch of the uh, driver within a specific region and within a specific time interval. And that usually like come with some like uh, uh, some like uh, logistic complaints. So it's like pretty urgent to operate. So it's very important for us to like handle those like use cases in a very uh, short time. And which means like the data freshness and the, the query latency is pretty important. And we used to uh, have a like application which like use the DynamoDB to back it up. Uh, but we find it's like compared with Druid it's like significantly more expensive. And uh, like as for the like the key value data stores it's like a little bit complex to model those like time series data. So that's why we switch to use Druid to uh, back up those like geospatial data lookups. And we're using the PyDruid and which is the open source like Python library to, uh, to be used to like to query from the Druid uh, from that uh, service. And at the meantime, we also have like hundreds of thousands of records to be ingested per second uh, through the like the real time ingestion pipeline that we just mentioned. And the, the average query latency is about like 100 milliseconds, and the data freshness is less than a minute. And uh, like we can see that like our uh, most of our like customer service agent like don't uh, are not like engineers, and they might uh, like uh, have uh, have some hard time writing circle. And with that uh, like application, uh, like they can like. Uh, they, Oh, the only thing they need to do is like draw a like diagram on the map uh, to specify the specific uh, geospatial and also like typing the like time interval that they want to search the driver for. And uh, then the like the application will return them all the drivers within uh, like that geo hash spatial uh, and uh, also the like the specific time interval. So uh, the second use case is to uh, use Druid for data exploration, analytic, and tracking. So uh, as we know, like Lyft is like heavily rely on the AWS, and we spend like tons of the money on like uh, EC2, a lot of the EC2 or like other AWS instances. And as a company, like trying to uh, like pursue the uh, prof uh, pursue to be profitable, it's very important for us to to track those infra span information. And uh, uh, we, we, we try to, we hope to build a dashboard to like on top of those like data. And we find like Druid does pretty good job at aggregating data. And uh, like those infra span can be like, uh, like can be well presented uh, like by like which team, what, what is the total cost for a specific team or like what is the total cost for a specific service. And uh, that's why we are like are using Druid to uh, like uh, do it. And we are using the superset to construct the dashboard on top of the Druid data. And we have the like the Pi Druid under the hood to uh, like support that. And uh, for those like uh, info span the data, we are using the batch ingestion to load the data from high to Druid every night. And uh, like we can see the like the query latency, the P99 is less than a second. So uh, like our team members can like quickly retrieve the infra span information, and uh, so that it can like uh, be better monitored, and uh, so that it can like make some improvement in the further. So uh, the third case is we use Druid for um, as a like time series data store. So we have a forecasting team which. They will use the most recent data to make and improve the prediction of some like uh, business matrix like the ride share demanding, the pricing, et cetera. Uh, and those like prediction are like in the near future. And they like specifically emphasize on like getting the most recent data. So the like the 
data freshness and the query latency is pretty important in that case. And that's why they uh, like uh, choose Druid to like be their like time series data store. And uh, uh, like we can see from their uh, like framework, uh, they are using the Frink app to uh, like ingesting the historical matrix into Druid. And they also have like a, a API to constantly query Druid to get those like historical matrix. And they will put those like historical matrix into a model to generate the forecasting result. And then like ingest into Druid again, so that it can be like used uh, like further. And because they have like pretty large ingestion volumes and also the query volumes, and also like their SLOs is like pretty tight to meet. So we set up a dedicated the hot tier broker and historical nodes for them so that they will have like dedicated the query resources and it will be totally isolated like from the like the query resources with other like data sources. And here I'm gonna share some like system matrix here. So the total ingestion volume is around like 100K rows like per second. And the query volumes is around like 400 uh, uh, requests per minute. And each request is like grabbing the most uh, recent and hour data of a specific region. And uh, the ingestion data freshness is less than 10 seconds. As for the, like the query latency, the P99 is less than like 500 milliseconds. And uh, like, as we can see, like even though Druid is not that famous for doing like scan query, we find out that with proper setup, it's like pretty, uh, like it, it, the performance is pretty good. So I think it's like pretty interesting finding here.